New Year's brings a new set of New Year's resolutions and the Better Business Bureau is offering some practical ideas to help protect your wallet and identity. Bryce Marshall with the Better Business Bureau is here today to give us some tips and offer some advice. Bryce, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So we all have New Year's resolutions. I have a few New Year's resolutions myself, but the Better Business Bureau says you can create some resolutions to help make sure you don't get scammed, right? Yes, yeah, there's some very practical uh, resolutions that we've created for what we call a fraud-free new year. Gotcha. So what are some tips that you have? So the first one that we have is to be cautious with email. Uh, be on guard if you receive unsolicited emails from a person or a company. It's really easy for scammers to make emails look like they're from a legitimate business, a government agency, or reputable, reputable organization like BBB. We've had some scams where come in where they actually try to pose as us. And you can probably set up your email, too, to kind of flag some uh, some suspicious ones, too. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure you have your, your email where you have a spam account set up. I'm sure there's a lot of them that do go there, but some occasionally do make it into your regular inbox as well. Okay. So what's next? So next we have do not send money to strangers. If you haven't met them person to person, or I should say face to face, don't send the money. Money sent to strangers this way is untraceable. And it's hard to get them back, especially if you send it through a prepaid debit card or cash app. Yeah, and that's one of the things you've mentioned before is you can't get this money back. Yeah, exactly. Once it goes, it's gone, and there's nothing you can really do about it, unfortunately. Okay, what's next? So next up we have do your research before making online payments and purchases. Uh, when you're shopping online or if you're asked to make a payment online, do your research before entering your payment information. Uh, ask yourself, you know, is this a person or a business I know and trust? Do they have a working customer service number? Where they, Where is the company physically located at? These are kind of things you want to look at beforehand before you send any kind of money or make any kind of purchase online. That's probably good advice for even a small purchase. Just do it for all of your online purchases. Exactly. Yeah, it's too easy to get scammed these days. Okay. All right, and uh, your next one. Uh, so the next one is I want to use my best judgment when sharing my personal information. You never want to share your banking and credit card information uh, your birth date, your address, your social security, your social insurance number, or Medicare number with someone you contact when you haven't contacted them ever before, like if it's someone you contact out of the blue. You never want to share that stuff because then you open yourself up for identity theft. Be very careful with your social security number. And you got one more, and this one pertains to social media. Yes, you want to be social media smart. So you want to make use of your privacy settings on social media and only connect with people you follow. There's tons and tons of people that will pop up on your social media. You might get a friend request with someone you have absolutely no idea, no idea who they are. You know, don't even have any mutual friends or anything. So you want to be really careful with that because some of these people are scammers and they will try to ask you for money. They'll try to ask you for some of your personal information like I talked about before. So you just want to be really careful about who you have on your social media. And that includes some of those links on Facebook and things and where you buy it and maybe not be a legitimate website. Yes, that's another thing you have to look out for, too. It'll be a lot of spammy products and a lot of ads that will pop up as well. Okay, Bryce, great advice. We appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. All right, thanks for having me.